Hi lovely viewers, it's me again your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. My children are somewhere else, my wife is somewhere else. Eh? It is, it is terrible. But all this suffering, our God, you see, that woman whom you are, you are, you are troubling, the wife to Edgar Chagalungu, a very innocent woman, a woman that is not even politically confrontational. No. No. That woman, all she knows is to love, to love people, to love Zambians by Esther Lungu. But you are troubling her. God is seeing those children of Edgar Lungu that you are verifying, that you are maligning, God is seeing. Those young people, those children who are going hungry because their parents cannot afford to feed them, God is seeing them. You are busy politicizing. No, free education, free education. What comes first, food or your education? If these people don't have food, how can they go to your free education? All these things, I tell you the truth. I'm not like you. I'm, I'm, I'm politicians like I've never smumba. Eh? smumba. I'm sorry today I'm going to talk about Vanever Smumba. And you know, I actually, you know, apologize to Vanever Smumba to say I wish I could have Miranda point everything. But now it's too much. It's too much. You know, it's too much whenever Smumba talking about others. Eh? So how are we going to spare him? If he every day is talking about other people, why should we spare him? Eh? Atumu fumu, we chindiko win, we chindiko win, eh? Eh? We chindiko win. If you want to be respected, you have to, you know, eh, respect others. You have to respect others. So if you are busy scandalizing others, how are we going to spare you? Eh? We should just watch you. How you are never small but you are busy scandalizing others. How you can't, we can't. I mean, if you want to be respected, respect yourself. But if you bring, if you are every day bringing yourself in the crossfire of politics, of scandalizing, I mean, now we need to go ingira, we need to go Eh. So I'm not like I've been never smooth. Baba did ding a life here with ya. In I am very transparent. Nepo ndelia, ndamieva tawe, apa ndelia, uyuna mpela koka shinga shinga, shani shani, ndamieva. I am very transparent. So I am just making this appeal to a number of you that are expecting me to help you. I am not I'm not in any position to help you. I am not in any position to help you. Not even those, uh, you know, because some of you, you say, oh, help me with a job. I can't. I can't. Where? How? 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 How am I going to help you with a job in Zambia? How? How am I going to help you with a job? How? Eh? How? How? You are even asking me, you are even coming from regions that are not favored. Uh, recently, there was, a, there was a young man that uh, I've, been help for, I've been helping for a long, long, for many, for, for, for a long time. I've been helping this young man. And um, it's not that, I mean, he's not my relative. He's just somebody, you know, that I, I came to know. Um, through social media and uh, you know uh, I started helping him up he completed school and he has been looking for a job for a long time but because this young man has got a wrong name at the end this young man has not been able to get a job I even uh, I even approached a number of UPND a number of UPND guys to say look guys this is not uh, this this guy is not my relative he has got nothing to do with my with my politics help this guy 
They kept on lying to me. Eh hey, no, give us a CV. Eh hey, shan shani, whatever, whatever, whatever. They never helped me. They promised me here and there, what, what, nothing, nothing. And I don't understand why that boy was not given a job because a number of you, a number of people that I know eh, were helped by some of you. By some of you, my friends. And I would have been mentioning your names here. So I'm, I'm, I'm just, you know, a breath away from mentioning your names. But there will come a time when I'll be mentioning your names. Eh? There will come a time when I'll be mentioning your names, when I'll be bringing down your names, when you will be uh, desiring to contest for elections. Because I know some of you, you have got political ambitions. So I'll come and I'll be hitting you where it hurts at the right time. For now, I'll be sparing you, some of you to you PND, I'll be sparing you. But I'm telling you, there will come a time when I'll be hammering you. I'll be hammering you and you will feel my weight. You will definitely feel my weight. Chipoka eh? is my brother. Chipoka is my brother, Chipoka. Of course, I'm not blood brother. We've pangat into a blood brother. Avena Kabuswe. Eh? Imobe nama MPs. Ava copper belt. Mwema copper belt. Mwema MPs wa copper belt. Mwishi mefi. Tapadi chenu. Tapadi chenu. So, nga mwavika monoku tumpa. You are just digging your own graves. You are just digging your own graves. And in those graves, you are not going to lie there with Haka in the HDM. Haka in the HDM has got his own grave. Separate. Haka in the HDM has got his own grave. So, we are very careful. Nga mune sawaida. We are very careful. Nga mune sawaida. Itchinka na itchine. Ndefo kumiyo kati. Nda mishamu. Nda mishamu. I'm saying this publicly. Some of you who I say, okay, you know, these are, are my brothers, you know. Vamona didiamo no kudiamo te timbepe. Eh, vamona didiamo no kudiamo te timbepe. Avena nanka ni imu avena chipoka mulenga. Tu adina didiamo. Avena kabuso na didiamo. So sometimes in Gandera and Damishamo, because, you know, you are people that at one point we sat together. Mwandisha mo no kundishamo. So, ndamishamo. But in them, you don't boko wati. Even as you are doing this politics. I mean, you can do politics, but don't scandalize Edgar Lungu unnecessarily. Don't scandalize Edgar Lungu unnecessarily. That is, that is my plea to you people. Don't scandalize Edgar Lungu unnecessarily. You are being unfair. You are lying. I have no problem. You can discuss it. Edgar Lungu is a, is, is a politician. And he's supposed to be, uh, you know, to be, to be spoken about. And after all, I mean, when you speak about him, even better. But if on day can, if you come with a picture of Mufi, if on day can, but never slumber. You can, you can, you can talk as much as you want for you to eat. Yeah, you can talk as much as you want for you to eat. Just like me, I talk so that I can also eat. Hey, hey, hey. hey I'm a politician, therefore, wow. Don't cheat yourself. I'm a politician, they are not businessmen. And many of these politicians, they are bad businessmen. They are bad businessmen. They are not even like me. In, I'm a good businessman, I can tell you. In, I'm a good businessman. Because I've done business and that can tell you. I've done business, I've built businesses, you know, from nothing. From nothing. Those are that I've worked with, they'll tell you. I've built businesses from nothing. Eh? Recent Naresh Shamalata. And you saw, I mean, I, I started that business with nothing. No mutuefe. With my giftedness, I started. And we were making money. Bank records are there. <laughs> Bank records are there. I can show you that we were making money when I was there. Of course, when I left, things just changed. Me, I'm able to sell. You talk about Guanzu. You people know about Guanzu. How did you know about Guanzu? Guanzu Roofing Company, Guanzu Roofing Company. Why? How did you know about it? Because of me. I went in there and I sold that company. A lot of people, a lot of you came to know about Guanzu. I moved there. I moved from Guanzu. I went to CTTK. CTTK. A lot of you know about CTTK. 
Okay, so you know I'm a businessman. I can tell, I can show you that this is what I did. Before I was in computers, eh? I was running Chiruta Computer Solutions. Those who are in the hotel industry, those who are who were using computers at that time, they know CT, uh, CC, CCS, uh, the computer doctors. We 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 did it. We were doing well. I was looking after my family. I've been looking even so. Even Mwewa Savaira sometimes, Ngamuri Savaira, hey, no, hey, you have to talk, whatever, you have to defend Edika Chagwalungu so that you can survive. Hey, you will suffer. Ina will never suffer. I've passed that level, Iliakwa Tinambu Kuchula, I've passed that level. I have passed that level. Na ripita pala pa kuchula pala pa nambu kasa ba na matipa nambu kasa ba na muntu anikani, mumila amba, ah ah, na ripita. Na ripita, na ripita. I'm not at that level. No, 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 I'm not. I'm not. Let me just tell you the truth. You need to know this. I am not at that level. Apa kukasa wa namu matipa. I am not at that level. Apa kuliakari bwe. I am not at that level. Uh-uh. 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 I'm not at that level. Apa ku, apa ku nye nituwa nike nike kapenda yangu wangu. I am not at that level. Na ripita mdada. Na ripita. Na ripita. So even when you say about social media, just because you have got a smartphone in your hands, you want to compare yourself with me? No, we will not suffer. Whether, whether Haka in the East, Haka, Haka in the East, and remains president. Whether Edgar Edgar Lungu becomes president or he doesn't become president, I will not suffer. I will not. Chat na I can't suffer. Na ngufeni kuno kuine, tetinchule mtu wa nitetinchule. Just that, you know, you need to live a certain life according to what you are aspiring. So at the moment, I'm a politician. I've, I'm a politician and I'm a refugee. I'm a politician and I'm a refugee. And I cannot engage in business activities. Why? Because I want to maintain my, polit my political status. I am a political, I am a politician. So, as a politician, I cannot change myself for our business, because then, I will not be a refugee. I will not be a refugee. But if I lose my status as a refugee, if I lose my status as a refugee, I mean, I'm exposing myself this side as a politician. But if the West comes to the West, if the West comes to the West, if it, if it really, it need be. I can abandon the refugee status and assume, you know, the life of a, 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 um, I mean, a, a, a person in diaspora and look for a job and stop doing politics and start working. I can do that. At the moment, I am a politician and this is why even my survival, I, I survive as a politician. Therefore, I'm going to kishe. At the moment, I'm a politician, and I survive as a politician. So, as a politician, all politicians, including Haka Inde Ichirema, when he became a politician, he depended on the support of others, the help of others. That is how politicians survive. Even Donald Trump, a particular Donald Trump, he's receiving donations from those people that support him, including uh, Iron Max. Eh? He, he, he is receiving. So that is our, that is our life as politicians. That is our life as politicians. So at the moment, I will survive as a politician. But if the West comes to the West, I would change my gears. Change my gears. Kuruisha kirikiti kirikiti. Work permit. Work permit. Nambo kubomba. I will still survive. So in shiri palevo yenuinesha kachule ponakana. Don't take me at your pantu, you know, I humble myself. Forget it. I'm not at your level. I'm not at your level. I'm not at your level. And kale na pitapo. Kale. Kale na pitapo mduwandi. Kale na pitapo. Kale. Kale tuwa churile po ifuye. Kuchula po kuchula tu chule. Kale tuwa churile po. Ota tuwa kachule po. Ngafia shupa ya fine nde miyeba. Inena likuwa ta ama gifts. I've got gifts. I've got talents. And one of my talents mtuandi is to do business. Ero ngaya shupa sana na likuwa te minueshi. 
Look at my hands. These hands can do a lot. Can do a lot. For goodness sake, I can even open a massage parlor with these hands. I can even open a, 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 a chan executive a massage parlor. Chirufatayad massage parlor. Nde tonya tonya fiyavant nde fola. I can just my hands, just my hands. I am an entrepreneur. Muto mo ni mo adiwa my ideas on how to survive. So ngana lole shemino shandi shinda mo lebad. Shemino eshkutu share ten dalamish. Just massaging. Kwa kwa nde tafu massage avant. Eh nde ista massage 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 massage. But yo but especially eh, those women who are so stressed with you, you know they are miserable husbands. But a lot of you guys, a lot of you politicians who are busy on social media, your women need massaging. Need massaging. I can open a massage for them. a massage parlor for them. Ngawaisa kuna nika nika waisa kufiaro na watonya tonya kuna watonya tonya kwa wakela kuzambi. Eh? I can open a massage parlor here. Eh? And those Zambian women, you know, Zambian wives of these politicians. <laughs> I'm a politician. Awasa waira sabaira. Awa kashima wakuti wale isa kukuru. Nde watonya tonya. Nde watonya tonya kufira fi. Nde ya. I cannot suffer. I can't. I cannot suffer. I cannot suffer. Except that at the moment, taking time for Tonya Tonya, want to? I don't know. I am a political party president. Eh? Tant for Tonya Tonya, want to? But we are full of Eh? Busy in that. Quack, quack. Tonya want. Number apa? I'm a president of a political party. I can't do that job. So I'm just giving you an idea that me I cannot suffer. I can't. I just can't suffer. Hello, IT is a skill, Mundwandi. IT it's 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 a skill that remains with you. Kwa diwa nani kani wa chende fa kumpira kona mama nani kani? Kwa diwa ma internet shops. Eh? A internet shops. What you saw for internet? You receive something to buy the wakwata. You can make money even through there. There are many ways of making money, and myself, I cannot suffer the tin chude. The tin dinga lava never smumba. The tin dinga lava never smumba. Tua pusa na lava never smumba. Tua pusa na. But never smumba is busy ranting against the Edgar Lungu. Why are you talking about Edgar Lungu and never smumba? Why? What has Edgar Lungu done to you? What? What? Even if Mule Fokudia wa mdala wa neva smumba. Even if Mule Fokudia. Teti mta mpokuda lila pavu fiku wepesha Edi Galungu. We want to, a lot of you, you are busy creating uvu vipari Edi Galungu. Ufo ndera ndira. You are busy creating uvu vipari Edi Galungu and his family. But once uvu vipari, haka inde ichirema alifidwa. Haka inde ichirema alifidwa. Njemeni haka inde ichirema has been in power for three years. Three years. What has he found against the Edgar Chagalungu. What has he found? You are busy talking about utupompwa, utupompwa, utunkolo nkolo. Little, little things. These are the things that you want to inflate to make Edgar Lungu look like he's a criminal. Hey, how about Kashiba Kodari 15 flats? Hey, 15 flats himwe. Chela tukuta, chela tukutomo echwa ndi chela. Chela tukuta. Chela tukuta. How long did he work in government? How long did he go to 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 nani kani go to diplomatai? How long? How long? But look at the house that he, he built. Just for that short time, Chela Tukuta. Look at the house that he built. Just for that short time, and who was Chela Tukuta? He was not even an ambassador. But if Chela, if Chela Tukuta, within a short time, not even occupying a big a government position, he managed to build a house. What about Edgar Lungu, who was president? Who was a minister before he became a president? Who was a member of parliament before he became a president? Who was 
a, a, a renowned lawyer. He was a renowned lawyer. Nangumunga sama ilati mfie 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 mfie. Ed Galungo was a renowned lawyer. Ed Galungo was a renowned, renowned lawyer. He represented big people in our country. He represented big people in our country. Because Ed Galungo was, was big. That is why he even represented the Gabon air disaster victims. Because some of you young people, you don't know. Ed Galungu represented the, the Gabon disaster uh, victims. He represented them pro bono. Pro bono, meaning without pay. If he was a useless lawyer, he wouldn't have come close to that case. Ed Galungu defended a number of uh, Chiruwazi uh, 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 government officials. Those who were in Chiruba's government, those who were in Chiruba's government, when they came out, the people that they were going to, then Ed Galungu. Then Ed Galungu, at that time, they were the Makebis of this time. At that time, they were the Makebis, they were the Jonas Zimbas, they were the George Chiruas of that time. So, we know that Ed Galungu, Afumine Pachishala, ah uh ah. -uh. Panti mumu wa pachishara, because most of the time you people who talk about others, you, you project your miserable life on others. You project your miserable life on others. That's what you do. You project your miserable life on others. So Ed Kalungu, it did not come from a miserable life that you are leading. Ah uh Fiari -uh. pusana. Ed Kalungu has been a success from a long time. He upon the land, he went into private, private, private practice. But before private practice, Edgar Lungo was assistant company secretary for ZCCM. Assistant company secretary for ZCCM when ZCCM was ZCCM. Not his ZCCM, we are sure. Yeah, Minga. Vadiyamu, Minof, Vadiyamu, Minof, Navash, Tisha, Navash, Tisha, Navash, Chavaka, in the Chilima. ZCCM or ZCCM at that time, one day. ZCCM, who won by for ZCCM? Our child in Chomboro, our child in Chomboro. They were living well during the time of ZCCM, when ZCCM was ZCCM. Our child in Chomboro. They were getting money, they were looking after their families, they were looking after their relatives. Some of you, you might have even visited them in the copper belt. Like me, me, I do remember. Me, I, 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 I was not born. I was born in Dola. But a number of my, 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 the brothers to my fathers were, were, were in, in Mufrila and Kitwe. And we used to go there and visit. But a lot of them, they were not big people. They were not big people. And yet they were stay, they were living well. They were living well. They were even able to accommodate us when we visit them for holidays. Those days we used to go for holidays. These days we are come holiday. But during that time, that is when this Ed Galungu that you talk about, hey, walk chawama, walk chawama, that time, that Ed Galungu you're talking about, he was assistant company secretary in the CCM. That is not a small, small position. That is not a small position, especially at that time, for you to be in that position, Mundwandi. Because from nowhere, driver, PS for you to occupy a certain position in Dara, you must have the merit. You there was there was meritocracy. There was it was there. Not this time. Takudi meritocracy. No, but kwe tava wakada. Avira tava kawana. These are the people at Nwa PS. PS Umuntu, he doesn't even have a signature. He can't even sign that with a signature. At Nwa PS. Eh? Arawa ya vya... Vamo hawa. Shefo kumirumbula mashina. Ndai mwela mwukumbula tumotuan. Batu mwali tu ishiwa. You know these useless kadas. Eh? Who are roaming around the streets. And today they are... They are... They are... They are PSs. Eh? Umuntu tasa inapo na vacha Taishwa na vacha ufo imunika Taishwa na vacha ufo imunika Eh? Leroni nankeni umuntu ni PS Atiyo, ma positions, ma positions 
But during that time, Muntu wanted to occupy a certain position, Muntu wakamunda. Ni should deserve it. They were not promoting. A civil servants were civil servants. For you to be in that position, Depa no no. For Edgar Lungu to be in, in a senior position, Muzet CCM, Depa no no. Depa no no. Pakuru. Pari Pakuru. And before then, this head Garungu you talk about was for Zambia State Insurance. He was at Zambia State Insurance. And because he was doing well there, that's how somehow he was brought into ZCCM. Because he was doing well there, that's how he was brought. When Zambia State Insurance was Zambia State Insurance, not Zambia State Insurance, it's a company that is just stealing money from people. People are paying in Zambia State Insurance, but they are not getting the, 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 the whatever. So, all this, all this, Ed Kavungu is not a small boy. He's not a small boy. You cannot compare yourself. Who are you? Can you compare yourself to Ed Kavungu? Can you compare yourself to Ed Galun? I'm mentioning to I'm mentioning you because you are you are, you are being used. You are being used as tools to scandalize Edgar Chagwalungu. That's why I'm mentioning you. And I'm telling you that I'm mentioning you only to warn you. Only to warn you. Only to warn you. I am not touching you and Nefichitoafienu. I'm not going there. I am only mentioning you to say, uh-uh. Vane. We understand. And you need to be there. It's okay. We understand. But when you are there, can you be sincere with Edgar Chagwalungu? I am not saying don't discuss him. You can talk about him. It's okay. You can talk about him as a politician. But be honest. Don't go on radio and start saying hey, hey, Edgar Lungu gave his, his son 2,000 uh, vehicles, whatever, whatever. Eh? Hey, he gave his wife and whatever. Because what Edgar Lungu, everything that you are discussing, everything that you people are discussing, you have even bypassed that. You have bypassed that. You have more than all these things that you are talking about. You have more. And I'm, I'm telling you that I'm just, I'm sparing you. I'm sparing you by not going into, you know, bringing your secrets in public. But at the right time, if you continue this nonsense, I'll start bringing out some of your activities. I'll start bringing them out. So, guys, let's just be fair. That's all I'm calling. That's all I'm saying. I'm not saying let's just be fair. Let's be fair with Edgar Chagwalungu. Let's be fair with him. Even, I, I mean, I don't care. He may, he may not even be president. I don't care. But let's be fair with him. Let's be fair with his family. You cannot be talking about 15 flats. 15 flats. 15 flats. Our Kashi. Our Kashi. Our Fumine. Umundera. Ndero. 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 I serve on a president. For nine years. Nine years. Ushe kwenda kucha afiro. Awa kucha afiro kuri lava kasha 15 flats. Imwe ni amayanda, amayanda. Awa le wumbafi wuno wuno. Awa le chita invest man. I know one guy in, at state, in state house. Even today. Even today somebody was discussing him. Adi di piramana nikane aman. Ama, ama deposit, deposit, deposit. Adi chita amayanda. Nini kwa ta data have so much data on a number of you guys. But Ime, I am I'm not scandalous. I am not. I am not. I do receive a number of information about you people. I do receive. Na na issue ya mafumo ya am state house. Ninji issue, I know. Amafu ilifumo liliku state house. I know about that that pregnancy. I know. But I don't come here and start talking. Hey, 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 badi mu imita. Hey, badi mu pere fumo. Hey, bamu tumana kufiaro. I don't. I don't. I'm not scandalous. I'm not. I'm not. I've got a guy. There is a guy in state house who, I mean, the guy that he, he bought a, a house from, he's complaining. I didn't pay the deposit, but he's not paying me the balance, whatever, whatever. But I'm not coming here to start uh, mentioning, hey, Shan Shani, hey, will you Shan? No, I don't do that. I don't do that. 
I know a lot about about Kabuswe. I know a lot about Ichipoka Mlinga. I know. I know a lot about I'm, I've mentioned these two names because these two names are whatever. But I know even about others. I know about what Felix Mutati. I know what what Felix Mutati is doing. If I were to come here and start blowing what Felix Mutati, Haka in the Ichirema will start shaking in his shoes. What is going on? I know about Wamirupi. I know what Wamirupi is doing. I know. Eh? Wamdala wa Jack Mumbu, Munishan. Munishan wa Jack Mumbu. Mumbu ni wamdala wa Jack Mumbu. Na di mite mwa. Na ngungu ufa filishani, filishani. Ah, ngungu mafeta, uko. Ngungu ufa filishani, nchafi uko. Eh? Recently, kwa ditro tuma issue zi. Eh? Eh, hey, shani shani, those foreigners, shani shani, whatever, whatever. To my issues, to what my issues, now to show up Jack Mumbuka, now to show I didn't come here to bring them out. Hey, hey, but Jack Mumbu, I don't. I don't. So, if you guys, we are sparing you, we are, we are talking, we are not, we are sparingly talking about you. Why are you busy scandalizing Edgar Chagorungu? You can talk about him, yes, politically. Not to come back, come back, pesha, fia, come back, You know, he may once more be running a propaganda. Hey, Shan Shan, Ed Galungu, for what he has done in this country, he deserves much more than everything that you talk about. There is nothing that you can talk about to say Ed Galungu, Ed Galungu. There is nothing. Ed Galungu has been very clear. <laughs> In terms of Unankani, Uliantu Ankani, this young man, his son, Dariso. Dariso has been has been running businesses for the for the for the camp for, for the family. And Ed Karungu used to invest in that, in the businesses. It was not that you he was giving the mama gifts, hey, hey, today is your birthday. It's not like that. It's not. And there isn't much, and in that business there is even a loan that they got. There is even a loan. But you don't talk about this, you want to inflate. You, you don't want Edgar Chagwadungu to contest the elections. You don't want. That's fine. Let's talk about that. Let's talk about that. But don't bring things which are not there and start heaping on, on Edgar Lungu. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't scandalize him. Don't try to make him uh, like he is a, he's a thief or what. No, he's not. But never smumba. Eh? You are busy talking about it. Eh, Emmanuel Mwamba. Eh, you, these are the people that surrounded the eh, eh, FTJ. Eh, eh, Rafael Nakachinda. These are the people that surrounded the Arabi and brought him Arabi. But never smumba, you are the poison that has destroyed some of these people. You are the poison that destroyed Arabi. You are you, you you are the poison that is killing UPA MMD. You are the one you Vanessa Mumba. You are a terrible man, terrible man. Shame on you to even be called a man of God, because I mean what you do is all crooked. It's all crooked. Vamdara, you survive on crookedness. You survive on deception. That's where you survive from the time that you you left the Zambia shall be saved and formed your political party, contested an election and lost terribly. Each time that you have contested an election, you have lost terribly. Even today, if you are to stand, Vanessa Mumba, you stand for an election. Na ine na I will beat you flat, Vanessa Mumba. You are nothing political. Tapari opo muava, tapari opo muava. You are nowhere politically. You are nowhere. Wherever I've contested elections, I've performed well, far much better than you. So I've, I've got the evidence to tell you that you and me were never smooth, but tapari ofo muji. Tapari. Even if we were to have elections today, twai mina my elections, inena imu wa never smooth, but twai mina. I'll beat you big time. You can't even come anywhere close. But you survive in deception. You, you betrayed your friends during the time of Mwanawasa. You sold your friends to become the vice president. You sold your friends in opposition to become the vice president. That's how you became a vice president. You never became, you became a vice president powerfully. Ubu fi, crookedness. You went and sold yourself quite di ule. Kuri, 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 mwanawasa. And that's how you became a vice president. 
From there, Arabi was gracious. After my mitamfia, whatever, whatever, Arabi was gracious. He appointed you in foreign mission. You went bootlicking kuri Arabi. Hey, bootlicking Arabi, bootlicking. Why me chitako a point? Kuri Arabi. Why me chitako a point? And your story there, what you did there, you never never swimba. You are a convicted person. You are convicted, you are never swimba. Who are you? You are a convicted man. And it's a shame that you are even you even have the courage to sue a, a Chris Zuman Zimba. This is nonsense. Where do convicts have the audacity of suing people that are, you have defamed me? You have no reputation, you are never swimba. You have no reputation. You have no reputation to defame. We defame people that have got reputation. You are never swimba. As a convict, you have got no reputation. So even that case that you are suing, Chris Zumani Zimba, it is because you know that now justice is compromised. Justice is for the people that are associated with with Haka uh, Inde Ichilema. And that's why you are busy uh, supporting Haka uh, Inde Ichilema. Because you know that you have no reputation and yet you are taking a case to court. You are taking a case to court. court. Mulefu ama judges, mamu na to, oh, I have a never seen but you know, he's, related, he's, he's close to the president so that they can ruin your favor. But even if they ruin your favor, if ever never seen but forever mishiva, you are nothing but a, a crook. That's all, that's what, that's what you are. Never seen is just a crook. If he was really a man of God, he would have continued there. He would have continued with that Zambia shall be saved. But you know, Baba never swimba. You know, he just goes on puppet for him to receive too much donations. He shall to, to receive our offering. That's all. It's business for him. It's only business for him, not at uh, it's only business. That's all. He has to survive. He has to survive. He has no trade. He's not a businessman like some of us. He has no trade. His trade is lying. His trade is crookedness. But never smooth. He's a, he's a betrayer, this man. He's a betrayer. So, tapani kwa kwati mune, 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 panga, panga kwati palefo mune wa never smooth. You are nothing. In the, you know, even in church, you are you are nothing because you're just a crook. You come to politics, you are nothing. You survive on scandalizing others. You survive on you know lying against others, deceiving others. That's what you survive on. And you are doing this because yes, you, you have got the audacity to go to court, eh, so that you can have favors. You are scandalizing Edgar Lungu today. So that you can survive. So that you can survive. That's why you are scandalizing Ed Galunga. But Ed Galunga and you you, 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 you are far apart. Far apart. Just look at yourself, Vanessa Sumba. Look at yourself. Look at your life and compare it to that of uh, uh, Ed Galunga. Look at it. You are nowhere close. Let's pray for, 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 for Ed Galunga. You pray for Ed Galunga. We, you, you need prayers, Vanessa Sumba. You need prayers. You are the one who needs prayers. Hey, 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 Nakachinda, hey, Mr. Pum, hey, Arabi, it's you, Mr. Arabi. Hey, they tricked Arabi to come back. There is a very big difference between Ed Galungu and, and, and uh, Arabi. Arabi circumstance, Arabi did not, you know, all of us uh, did not uh, uh, want to come back the way uh, Ed Galungu is coming back. There is a difference. Ed Galungu is coming back as a result of the bad performance, the poor performance, the failure of Haka in the Ichilema. That's why Ed Galungu is coming back. Ed Galungu is coming back because people went to him to say, mm -mm, to a chula, to a chula. That is how Ed Galungu is coming back. People have gone there, including myself, I'm one of the first people that went to him, to a chula. Uyumuntu promised us that he's going to do this and that he's going to do, but he's doing nothing. He's doing nothing. Can you come back? And that is how Edgar Lungu is coming back. When you look at Arabi, Arabi, he was retired. Arabi did not come back to say, no, no, because things are, uh -uh. Arabi came back because Sata had died. Sata had died. And like now, we needed somebody experienced 
We needed somebody experienced. And that is when some of us again went to Arabi so that he can come back and rule for that short time. If it was not for you, but never Smumba, even this nonsense that we are talking about, the, the, the eligibility and whatever, whatever, wouldn't have been there. It is because of you, but never Smumba, that we have these constitutional battles, constitutional uh, 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 lacunas that you are talking about. It is because of you. Because if you, but never Smumba, had not stepped on Arab had not hindered Arab B from coming back, Arab would have bounced back. Arabi would have bounced back. Arabi wanted to come back so that he can just finish the term ya kwasata. That's why Arabi wanted to come back. He, he just wanted to come back so that he can finish the term ya kwasata idea. To avoid these confusions that we are having, you can cheat our number our, our But some of us who have got the political history of this country, we know. We know who are the real statesmen. We know who are just crooks masquerading to be patriots and yet they're just doing it for their babies we know and you are never smumba you are one of uh, you, are, you, are, you are you are one of the 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 what is what is that what is that word you are one of the mischievous Individuals that we have in our country who have caused problems for our, for our country. You have caused problems for our country. The country, you are more of a liability to Zambia, but never Smumba. You are more of a liability to Zambia than you are a benefit. You are more of a liability because you, you eat, you eat, you survive, you feast, you pay, you uh, 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 you you best. You best on the Zambian people to survive. And you have caused us, you have messed up this country. You have messed up this country. You are never small, but you are a liability. You are a liability. You caused this nonsense that we are talking about. Because if Arabi had come in, we wouldn't be having this nonsense. We have this nonsense of this eligibility and whatever, whatever nonsense because of you are never small. It is not because of Nagachinda. It's because of this is not because of Nakachin. You are the one who went to South Africa. You are the one who was selling our country in South Africa with with Nakachinda. You are the one who got money. Brent Trust. You used to go to South Africa and you got money. Mwashta mona BMW there white. Eh? How did you buy that BMW there white? The last vehicle that you bought, the only vehicle that you bought with the money that you got from Bantuan and the Brentras who are supporting HH. You are the one, you sold the country, you went there. And because of money, that's, you agreed to, to support Haka in the Ichirima and to block, to block uh, uh, Arabi. So don't talk about Nakachinda, Nakachinda, Nakachinda. It is you. It is you. You are an ability from Dara Inwe. You are an ability. Eh? We know you, we know you, and you, it's, it's because you are forcing us, you are just forcing us to talk about you. Me, I've been reluctant to talk about you, but you've continued nonsense. Finch, I'm misread Galung, Finch, I'm misread. If I'm misread Galung, Finch, I'm misread Galung. Your friend is in State House, why hasn't he found criminal activities on Ed Galung? Because being found in 15 flats is not criminal. And it is only politics, it is only uh, 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 malice to say Edgar Lungu cannot make 15 flats for his wife. It's only malice. It is only malice that a, a, a person who was president for nine years, for, nine, for, for, uh, for seven years, is it? Yeah, seven years cannot build a company and entrust it in, in, the, in the hands of his son. It is only marriage that a person like Edgar Lungu cannot build houses for his children. It is only marriage. It is only marriage because really, how many people, people who are just working, they have built houses for their children. They have built houses for their children. Eh? They have built houses for their children. Number Edgar Lungu, a 
hey, hey, is that how? See, hey, she has whatever. Really? Really? By the fact that you cannot build a house, especially some of you, Balundondo, on social media, if you can't build a house, don't think that Ed Galungu can fail to do, can, can, can fail to build a house, can fail to empower his family. There is nothing, there is no wealth that you are talking about in Ed Galungu. There is no wealth. How much? There is no wealth there. There is no money there. There is no money, but you want to inflate it. No! Just say we don't want Ed Galungu to be on the ballot. Say that. We don't want Ed Galungu to be on the ballot. Don't lie to say no. Hey, Badiba, Badiba, no. Having property and small properties like what, what Ed Galungu has, it's nothing. That you even talk about 15 houses. Because you are not exposed. Because if you are if you are exposed, you would know. Eh? Even even in Twangani, GBM, eh? even Sata. By the way, <laughs> do you know how many houses Sata had? Do you know how many houses Sata had? Sata was only president for three years, so you cannot even talk about his presidency. Sata only worked in government as a minister. And I'm telling you, Sata had houses. Sata had houses. That's how he was surviving. His wealth was Mumayanda. But he was just a minister. He was not even as educated as Ed Galungu. Sata was not even as educated as Ed Galungu. Sata could not lynch a job in a reputable company like ZCCM. He couldn't. He was not as educated. But Ed Galungu is educated. He's educated. He has worked. So you cannot be talking in Fumula and Dapapa. Tapani Fakuranda Pua. Eh? Tapani Fakuranda. And by Nevers Mumba, you should be the last one to talk about eh, other people like Emmanuel Mwamba, eh, Nakachinda. You should be the last one because you are the worst sellout. You are the worst sellout. At least eh, Mwamba. Mumbai is a professional. Mumbai is a journalist. Mumbai is a journalist, and that's what he oh, that's what he does. That's what he does. He's a journalist, Mumba. A renowned journalist, respected locally and internationally, Mumba. Very respected. But never Mumba, you can go in Muri Mumba ten times. Mumba Mumba has a life. He has a life. Him, what is your life? What is your life? Mumba has a life. Mumba has a life. Mwamba Padiadi, Nangufia Shupa, he can even get a job. No, my mother never saw Mumba. Who are you? Who are you? Would doctor, would doctor, would doctor, would doctor, what would you do and can? Wabu, wabu fish. Eh? Wabu be pape pape. I would doctor, 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 doctor. Nonsense. So, eh, if you want I'm not saying don't talk about him. I'm saying talk about him, but in the right context. And I'm not defending him at your shan shan shan. Ah ah, nandi shamu ah ah. I ne na dikwata na dikwata conscience. Na dikwata conscience. Me, I defend. I mean, people who are unjustly treated. Today I'm talking about Edgar Chagwalungu, not because that uh, he has given me anything. No. No. I'm telling you. No. I'm not talking about him because he has given me anything. I'm talking about him because you are being malicious. You are being malicious against him. You are running heavy propaganda. You don't have really something that you can pin on this man. So you are fabricating everything and heaping on him so that you can make him look bad. If on the cana, if on the cana, and even with the haka in the if haka in the was to come out tomorrow, and you are accusing him of things that he has not done, I will defend him. That is the difference with me and these other wakandile like Vanessa Smumba. Vanessa Smumba, even when he knows that okay, this person is bad, they will be busy defending him. They will be busy defending. Uyu haka in the defend. What has haka in the done? 
you are failing to talk about because when you are supporting a person you talk about the things that he has done but you don't have something good to talk about a haka in a haka in the hm so the the only way is to talk bad of of edgar lungu but let me tell you this and listen listen good the whatever malice that you put on Ed Galung will not make Haka Inde Ichirema be a successful president. No matter how bad you, 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 you formulate lies, but it will not make Haka Inde Ichirema to be a good president. It will not make Haka Inde Ichirema power the country from the load shedding that we are having. It will not make Haka in the Ichirema reduce the prices of commodities. It will not make Haka in the Ichirema reduce a bag of milk. Meal. It will not make Haka in the Ichirema. It will not make him create jobs for the young people. It will not make Haka in the Ichirema provide fertilizer for the farmers. It will not make Haka in the Ichirema reduce the cost of fuel. It will not. You can talk and talk and talk and talk. Social media, you will come and talk and talk and talk and talk. You will go back to my and me and Mwakula Nyamenshi. Mwakula Lalen Salah. No, why da? Nay Nikata. Nay Nikata. Nay Nikata in Salah. Muream Kulalen Salah. Apomudi. I know a lot of you. Muri Mufifi. Muri Mufifi. You can talk about that Garumba as much as you want. It will not power you, your homes. It will not give you food on the table. It will not. But never swumba akuladia. Even when you be busy, hey, oh, never swumba radia. Never swumba is like, a, is like an orphan. That one is a political orphan, never swumba. Without the spores coming from Haka in the Ichirima. But never swumba kufwa ninsala. Kurwala kwa shoka. Kurwala kwa shoka so. Manutrition, but never swumba bari. If haka in the HD manga pona the haka in the HD manga di fuide, have a ngadi la niwa niwa sumba. Number one citizen, who can do the muso? But never sumba, because without haka in the HD manga, never sumba. He will be in the streets begging. He will be in the streets begging. In any meva, in a without whoever, whoever, whoever. I've got something that I can do. I've got something that I can do. I've told you that they can even use my hands to make money. I can even start dancing. I can even dance. Since they didn't shoot, they never smumba. 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 They never So, these people do whatever you are doing, but. Don't miss, don't don't scandalize Edgar Lungu unnecessarily and anyone for that matter. Don't scandalize people unnecessarily. Don't scandalize people unnecessarily. Why are you scandalizing Edgar Lungu? Talk about the real issues. You don't want Edgar Lungu to be on the ballot. Understood? Mulemutina. Mulemutina. If you want to support Haka in the HDMI, talk about what he has done. What has he done? Why are you not talking about what he has done? Why are you busy scandalizing Edgar Lungu? Ah ah, chilisha ni? Ushe kubomba? Eh? Ushe kubomba? Uta scandalize Lungu, Lungu, e kubomba? That is not working. If you want, talk about what Edgar Lungu, what this Haka in the HDM of yours has done. Not busy scandalizing whatever, whatever. Eh, hey, Edgar Lungu. Muli no, we know you have decided. The case is coming up on Monday. I know. The case is coming up on Monday. And you have decided, you have made up your mind that Edgar Lungu should not be on the ballot. You have decided. We know. We know. On Friday. On Friday. Per Friday. A, 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 a Ministry of Finance was pushed to release 2 million kwacha. So that they can be police officers. We, uh, they, have, they have sanctioned an operation order of 1,500 police officers. 1,500. 1,500 police officers. They have sanctioned them to be, uh, to be at, uh, at, at court. 
and they released the two million wingi demo, two million, two million, two million kwacha, just for them to make sure that, you know, they can protect their interests, they can do what they want, which is to bar Edgar Chagwalungu. They are investing in making sure that Edgar Lungu is bad. They have even gone to an extent of making Edgar Lungu pay so much money to the lawyers of whoever, whoever, so that, you know, they can squeeze Edgar Lungu financially. That's what, these are the plans. Number one, they want to buy Edgar Lungu. Number two, they want to rule, they will rule against him. Number three, they want to make sure that they squeeze money out of Edgar Lungu to, to fix him. But you see, these things, I was very depressed when I got this intelligence. Because I know, I know when you people were UPND Mwaikala, that meeting that you had where you were discussing, eh, to say no, eh, eh, Edgar Lungu. After we bar Edgar Lungu, then we should, uh, you know, put another action to make to say Haka in the presidency is legal because Ed Galungu did not win. He lost. This is this is what they have they have planned. They have planned that after what the bar Ed Galungu, the next thing that they want is to make sure that the judges rule that no Haka in the is validly in 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 state house because the one who was in in, in eligible is Ed Galungu and he lost. So it's okay, we can just leave that one aside. This is what they have decided by UPND. They have decided, you know, with the uh, to make the judges pronounce themselves to say, yes, Edgar Lungu was not legible, but the election was legible, uh, was valid because Edgar Lungu lost. So it is okay. That is what they have decided. And yes, with all these things, you are in control, you are in power. So you can have whatever you want. You can have whatever you want. You will succeed to buy Edgar Lungu. You will succeed to even, you know, put a heavy, a, a heavy court burden on, a heavy financial burden on, on, on Edgar Lungu as a result of this. You will succeed in all that. Because, I mean, there is no democracy. There is no justice. Forget it. There is no justice. There is no justice. So you will succeed in all this. And you will feel like, you know, you have it. You have the victory. But I can tell you, Edgar Lungu, Edgar Lungu may appear weak, but there is a grace, I've told you a number of times, there is grace that goes with Edgar Lungu. And somehow, you will be shocked how God will turn around these things. Mark my words. Mark my words, you will be shocked how God is going to turn around everything. You will think that you are so powerful. You think that you are, you are, you are stepping on Ed Galungu, you are finishing him. You will be shocked what God will do. Go and ask him, uh, that guy Scott. He's there, go and ask him. Guy Scott also thought they had gotten it. Together with these others, Avena Musa Mwenye and whatever, whatever, when they went and got power from, they got the instrument of power from Ed Galungu. When Sata died, they went and got the instrument of power. They got it. And Guy Scott vowed that this Ed Galungu will not become president. He vowed that he, Ed Galungu will not become president. He was president at that time, Guy Scott. He was president at that time. And Ed Galungu went away like a boy that has been, uh, that has been uh, um, deprived of his toy. He just went, ah, me, I don't care about this. I'm a journalist, I'm a pusher. Ah, me, I don't care about this thing. Ah, whatever, I've given it up. But somehow, the God that is in Ed Galungu brought him back and he was president. You remember, you may, because if you are the you may not really, but remember how powerful Guy Scott was. Guy Scott was powerful at that point. Eh? He was powerful. Guy Scott was powerful.
No jokes. After that, when he was acting, Guy Scott was powerful. He used to tell off people. He used to tell off Avena Ed Galungu. And he vowed that Ed Galungu would not become president. What happened? Even this time around, this Ed Galungu that you are talking about, Ed Galungu did not on his own come out to say, I want to come back. No. It is the people that went to him. And as we say, those of, those of us who had a stint on Latin, at Vox Popli, Vox Day. Vox Popli, Vox Day. The voice of the people is the voice of God. The voice of the people is the voice of God. Le Satalanda, Tesure Nyulu, he doesn't open the clouds and speak. He doesn't do that. He doesn't do that. He did that to Moses. He, he doesn't do it anymore. He speaks through the people. And the people spoke and Edgar Lungu became president. This time around, I know you are deploying a lot of police officers and people are scared and everything, but I know that there are many hearts that want Edgar Lungu to come back. There are many. And I'm here tonight to encourage you because I was also depressed, I'm telling you. I was depressed. I was sleeping there. I was sleeping, even yesterday to talk, you know, I woke up, you know, I woke up a little bit later, you know, but I didn't have the courage really to talk. I was depressed. I felt we have lost it. So now what? But you see, in me, I'm a man of prayer. I pray. And this morning, I prayed. And somehow, God made me go through the challenge. I, I, I read through the, the, the scriptures of, you know, um, Job, how Job, you know, struggled and whatever, whatever. Sometimes God allows us to go down. Sometimes God allows us to go down and we feel defeated. We feel what is going on. That's how I felt. But reading the scriptures, I felt, I came to realize that, you know, who are we? Who are we? Who are we? There is a God. We might think this way, that way, that way, that way, but there is a God. And this God knows better. And one thing that I know for sure is that I'm not talking against the Haka in the Ichirema just to malign him. No. Me, I'm not, I'm, I'm not malicious. I'm not scandalous, no, scandalous. I'm not. I'm not scandalous. So I'm not just talking about Haka in the Ichirema. If you have a fear, even Shiba be pesha Haka in the Ichirema, Shiba be pesha. I don't lie against Haka in the Ichirema. I don't. I speak the truth about Haka in the Ichirema. And, and from where I stand, I don't think Haka have been unjust to Haka in the Ichirema. I, I don't think so. And from where I stand, those who are complaining against Haka in the HM, I don't think they are doing it out of malice, out of hate, out of tribalism. No. They are talking about the genuine, genuine concerns of their lives. Their lives are not okay. People who are complaining against Haka in the HM, they are not complaining because they hate him. They are not complaining because they are PF. They are not complaining because Vale Fokuriaga were never smumba. No. They are complaining because they had a life before when Ed Galungo was there. They are comparing to the life that they have today. And it is genuine. It is the truth that the life that many Zambians are experiencing today is far much worse than when they were with Ed Galungo. This is the truth. So the, the, the cries of the people, surely these are cries that God is looking at. God is receiving. And as a God who loves his people, he's going to respond. He's going to act. That's for sure. I am very much, very much sure. Haka in the is not ruling our country properly. No matter what you can say, you can malign Ed Galungo like I've said. 
But if you look at Haka in the Ichirima, he's not ruling our country properly. He's not, he, the people of Zambia do not have the freedoms that they had. The people of Zambia are not able to afford their own lives, the basics, they are not able to afford a lot of them. The young people cannot get employment. A number of people instead have lost jobs. PCMD, whatever, whatever, a lot of them, they have lost jobs. Businessmen, they are not making money. I even got, uh, recently, I even got, uh, you know, a, 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 you know a, a message from uh, FRA. I'm told FRA has not been paying people. FRA has not paid people for a long time. Why is FRA not paying people? Why FRA? Why are you not paying people? And these people are complaining. That's why I know about these things. Because they, they are suffering. People are suffering. People are suffering. FRA, you are not paying. And a number of go other government institutions are not paying. So these people, when they are crying, I don't think God is going to ignore them forever. No. No. Sooner than later, sooner than later, God is going to respond. God is going to respond in a way that we don't and we can't all of us see. In a way that we all can't see. In a way that Baka in the HLMA can't see. Baka in the HLMA thinks that he's going to have it. Thinks that just the burying Edgar Lungu sorts out the, his problem. But no Baka in the HLM. There is a God and this God is looking upon all of us. Even me, I'm here. I'm suffering. I am suffering just being here. I mean, just got a psychological, mental torture. My children are somewhere else. My wife is somewhere else. Eh? It is it is terrible. But all this suffering, our God is seeing. That woman whom you are, you are, you are troubling, the wife to Edgar Chagalungu, a very innocent woman, a woman that is not even politically confrontational. No. No. That woman, all she knows is to love, to love people, to love Zambians by Esther Lungu. But you are troubling her. God is seeing those children of Edgar Lungu that you are verifying, that you are maligning. God is seeing those young people, those children who are going hungry because their parents cannot afford to feed them. God is seeing them. You are busy politicizing. No, free education, free education. What comes first, food or your education? If these people don't have food, how can they go to your free education? All these things, les salemuna, les salemuna, les salatuafwa. All right, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.